Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Helen and you are watching Stitch Rip Repeat. So today is a video that I said in my previous video that I would be recording. I have to apologise. I did record it the same day as that video and I thought I would have it uploaded before now. Unfortunately, technical difficulties, <laughs> i.e. I managed to delete it when I was recording. So here I am again and um, I'm starting over and since I recorded the fabric haul I have had a few more deliveries. So lucky for you, you'll get to see them in this video. So firstly I would like to say thank you so much for everybody who has viewed my last video. I know I'd been absent for a while so I'm thinking maybe people were hopefully pleased to see me back. I absolutely love that nightwear set that I've made. I will pop in a little link in the description below and also a clickable link for you up here if you haven't seen it yet. And also I just wanted to say a couple of things. I am wearing the Adrian blouse by the Friday Pattern Company and this is made from a fabric I got in one of my previous So Hayley Jane boxes. And finally, before we start looking at all my fabrics, my hair. So probably you don't notice or don't even care, but my hair is a bit of a mess at the moment because I am trying to grow out my fringe. And so the plan is I want to get my hair cut and I'm thinking of chopping it shorter, but I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to want a fringe with the new style. So to give me options, I am growing out my fringe. So if I do want one, obviously we can cut it in. If I don't, uh, it's all good. So I'm sure you didn't really want to know that, but I just thought I would <laughs> mention um, why my hair is looking a little bit dishevelled these days. So let's get started. The first one I've got here is... Oh, Look at that. I have a bag full of goodies from Lizzie's shop, which is, as you know, my favourite shop here in Plymouth. And I'm going to go through what I got. So Lizzie had a flash sale a few weeks ago, a French terry type sweatshirting. You know me, I am a bit rubbish with the actual types. It's in this navy blue with glitter and I'm not sure how well it shows up on this for you but it's got dashes of colour and the colours it's got again I'll point a photo it doesn't show is like it's got little dashes of green and like a pinky colour um, it's got a lovely stretch to it and it's like quite loose weave so I mean I'm saying French terry but I'm not 100% sure um, I absolutely love this. It feels really cosy for uh, the autumn. And as you know, obviously blue is my colour. Now, because of these flecks of colour, which hopefully I've put a better photo in, I wanted to make with this the Jarrah sweatshirt. And I wanted to have a contrast for the ribbing on the cuffs. And the. Um, I'm probably going to do the version with the bottom band. So we had a good look and I decided on this rather gorgeous red with gold and I think against that for the cuffs and the bottom that will really stand out and you as I say you may not be able to see it here but it does pick up some of the colour in this gorgeous fabric. So that was the first one I should say, not everything I'm going to show you will have a plan in mind. I am planning some trousers. I'm thinking a lovely autumnal pair of trousers that I can wear with um, little boots or if it's slightly warmer, I can wear with like sneakers. Um, and so I got this gorgeous, I would call it like an olive green. And I think that it is a linen slub. <laughs> if I find out what it is, I will put it um, on the screen. And as with everything I talk about, I will put the details in the description below. Um, but I think this is a very autumnal colour. 
and I think that'll be a lovely pair of trousers. Not 100% sure what pattern for that yet. But with this in mind, and I'm going to just pop it over my shoulder so we've got it here, I wanted to make a couple of tops that would go really nicely with it. And I'm pretty sure this is a range called Zoe and Elegante. But again, I will double check. So I got myself this gorgeous one here. I'm not sure which way it goes. I'm going to put it that way. And if you can see, obviously, it's that really deep sort of burgundy red. And it's got these gold and silver coloured like leaves and then speckles. And I think as a really nice blouse with these in a green pair of trousers, I think that will look really nice. And then the second one that I thought would look nice is this kind of off-white with those gorgeous splashes of, again, very autumnal colours. And I think like with the previous one, I think that will go really nicely and look kind of smart for me. I'm very much a, a jeans and a t-shirt kind of gal, but I think a nice blouse out of this, trousers out of that, and I've actually got a really nice fabric that I think would make a lovely cardigan um, to go over the top. So I got those as an actual plan. And then the last piece of fabric I got from Make was already reduced. And then uh, Lizzie said that I could have the reduction, the flash reduction off it as well. So I got this really nice Dashwood Studio cotton. And I don't think it's particularly appropriate at the moment, but I have looked at this one previously because I love, obviously it's predominantly blue, but I love the apple design and the bright colour. So I will probably be popping this away for spring next year but as it was reduced further I think I got like 70% off so um, I did grab a couple of meters of that. Now while I was in there I also saw in the section where that fabric was that Lizzie had some patterns she was trying to clear out and this one is the very popular penny dress by Sew Over It and obviously uh, they now have different packaging, uh, which I think you're probably aware of if you're aware of so of it. So the stock with these packaging is what Lizzie was trying to clear out. And I have looked at the penny dress many times and thought I fancied it. So as it was reduced, I picked up a copy of that, which I'm very excited about. And lastly, again, not fabric and not pattern either, but I got myself some labels. I've seen these ones online and I nearly bought them online um, once before, but they are a special selection that Kylie and the Machine did and it was a limited selection and it's got four labels and it's self-love and I'll just show you the back where you can hopefully see the labels better. So I'm hoping you can see that. If not, I'll pop in a photo. But as I say, I'd seen these online a while back whenever it was they came out and I didn't pick them up at the time because I have a lot of labels already, but I couldn't help but to pop that in my basket while the sale was on. So um, I love Kylie and the Machine labels, but these are a lovely limited edition and I think they're really fab colours and designs. So it I had quite a haul <laughs> from Make and actually that was my inspiration to do a fabric haul video a couple of weeks ago when I first planned it and um, now that I finally managed to show you I'll be able to wash up all my fabrics and pop them away. So the fabrics I'm going to show you today are in no particular order because I can't remember now, I don't think I could remember the first time I recorded it, but definitely I now have no clue which ones came first. <laughs> but um, all these fabrics have been um, hanging around my house waiting to be washed, but I wanted to film them first. This is from Shell. Now Shell runs so affordable fabrics, and if you've watched my videos, you'll know I get a lot of fabrics from her. I think this is gorgeous. I'm thinking Christmas festive season, if I get to go out, out. 
it is this i think i've got it upside down gorgeous viscose jersey and it has the most amazing rose gold flower design going through it and i'm hoping you can see how lovely the shimmer is on that i absolutely love this i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm doing with it at the moment but i am thinking either a really nice jazzy jumpsuit for parties and things or possibly a wrap dress such as i'm thinking and i'm not 100 percent sure but the westcliff dress i don't know if that's for stretch anyway i couldn't resist getting because um this was as with shells very affordable so i picked up three meters of that and like i say i hope you've been able to see that gorgeous shine on that rose gold so yep i got that from shell I think I might have to go through a bit quicker because looking at the piles in front of me, we could be here all day. Um, let me move on. Now, this one I got from a lady that I follow on Facebook and she gets like random pieces in that she doesn't get again. And so she'll just measure them and then she'll put on her page the size of the piece, what it is and how much she wants for it. Now, this is a green stretch denim. And I think I've got about one and a half metres. Now, I was not paying attention <laughs> at the description. I love the colour. I love this green. But I was thinking of a um, denim jacket because I have plans to make a denim jacket. But as I say, it is a stretch. So actually, when I got it, you can see it's not really... It's not got the structure you need for a, a stable denim jacket. So I have thought and I'm thinking that hopefully I have enough in this for a pair of jeggings. And I have recently bought, I want to say it's Sinclair Patterns latest jeggings pattern. I will put the name on the screen. I'm pretty sure it was Sinclair Patterns. Anyway, they've done this really lovely um, jeggings pattern which you can do really plain, or they've got like a um, faux um, fly to go on the front, so it's not real, and faux pockets, and also like a um, moto design down the leg at the front. So um, I really would love to try that one out, and I think actually it would be really nice in this green. So um, that, that hopefully will become jeggings. This is a random fabric in that I can see that it's woven um, and it has no stretch. Um, it is in this gorgeous, I would call it bubblegum pink. Um, so I'm hoping you can see that quite well. Um, it's a really lovely uh, bright pink. And this was from another fabric shop we have here in Plymouth and that's Barbican Fabrics. She had a zip that I'd ordered for my Eden jacket. And then this was in the half price bin in her shop. And it was eight pounds for three meters. So I picked up this. My plan for this is the Lazy Day Dungas by Stitched in Wonderland. So hopefully I'll pop in a photo. And I just think, yeah, it'd be really nice in this bright pink. Um, it'll be another one of those where people say you look a little bit like a children's tv presenter but i don't mind that so um i couldn't resist that for the eight pounds now this one is a gorgeous viscose twill from the soest fabric shop and i don't know how well it's going to show up on screen i'm hoping it will show but it is a air force blue so it's that kind of gray blue color it's really hard to show on screen, but it is the softest, gorgeous fabric. I love the little tag that comes with it. It gives you all the details about the fabric um, in that what it is, what colour it is, how much it is, um, and things like washing care. So obviously 30 degrees and it might shrink. And um, yeah, I, like I say, it is so, so soft. I have no idea 
um, what I'm making with this at the moment. I think I've got just under two meters, but I love the color and I am very excited to look at my patterns and decide what I can make that. And of course, if you have any ideas of what you think would be good, please do let me know in the comments down below. So the next two fabrics are from Ren and Ruse. I pre-ordered these especially, and these are cotton lycras, and they are just the most amazing print. I have got, I think, a meter in this colorway. And as you can see, it has got all different forces, vehicles, you've got tanks, you've got ships, you've got airplanes, and um, then you've got the poppies. So obviously I was thinking a really nice fabric to make. Originally it was gonna be for my daughter, but I'm a very selfish sewer. <laughs> I'm gonna make a top for myself for uh, Remembrance Day. Hopefully I will actually get this done in time, but you know what, I will wear it any time of the year because we should always remember. And yeah, I pre-ordered and then I forgot. So honestly, it was like Christmas when this arrived. So in this gorgeous khaki color, I got, I think one meter, as I said. And then in a half a meter cut, I have the same print, but in a white background. And I'm hoping to combine the two fabrics together into a fab color blocked top so Ren and Ruse that is fantastic. The next bundle is from Lamazi Fabrics and now I did post this one on Instagram when I got it and this came as a bundle with these three colours. Can't remember what they called it hopefully I'll pop it in here. I love all of these colours and I bought because they do the service the matching threads for each of them as well and I absolutely love the combination of these three and my plan for these ones is a calypso top uh, again by Sinclair patterns so I'm really pleased I've been able to show you this one now because I've had this for a little while and I want to wash it so that I can get on with that so that was as I say from Lamazi and I think it's a brilliant idea doing bundles together they have other bundles in other colors so please do go check them out and this one i'm not 100 percent sure where i got it from i'm mm, fairly certain it might have been crafty so and so and i think it was a remnant i'm not sure how well it's going to show up it is this gorgeous kind of plum color and i'm hoping you can see it's a a wool i don't think it's real wool but it's a wool type fabric if I can find the details, I'll pop them in description below. And it's um, really quite chunky. And my plan is some sort of jacket coat because I just think that rich colour is lovely. And things like the green, the dark olivey green that I bought from Make in trousers, I think would look lovely with a jacket in this color over it. So again, any recommendations for patterns you think would suit this would be warmly received. But yes, I love this fabric. Really looking forward to making a coat out of that. So this next one is a couple of cottons from Frumble Fabrics. Again, as I've said, I will put all the businesses I talk about in a link in the description down below. These are gonna be a shirt. I'm thinking probably the Rosa shirt. You hopefully will remember I've said previously I want to make a Rosa shirt with some of the fat quarters that I got in a previous So Haley Jane box. And I'm thinking now I want to make a shirt. Kristen from the Dahlia Society, she has a giveaway going at the moment, I think with the cloth edit. I will double check and um, I'll, um, I'll link the video where she tells you all the details down below for you. But yeah, I, if my plans for the Rosa shirt work out, I would like to make a shirt with this really fab fabric. It is, as I say, a cotton. And hopefully you can see it's got all these different hands all over it in lovely 
shades of the green and blue. I think that'd be really fab, but I didn't want to just do that. Oh no, that would be boring. <laughs> I'm going to put a pop of colour. So I got the other colourway that they did. And that's this gorgeous bright colours. So I think probably like pockets or collars or something like that. So we will have the two fabrics together in a shirt. And I just think that's going to look fab. So as I say, that was from Frumble Fabrics. If you've not seen any of their fabrics before, they do have some lovely, what I would call wacky um, fun fabrics. So do go check them out. The next couple are from Rooted. First time buying from them. Very happy with what I got. I will have to put in the description or on the screen what type of fabric this is because you know me, I can't remember. <laughs> but I got two different colourways. Oh, maybe the selvage will give me a clue. Well, 100% organic cotton, which I knew. Oh, I love this. This is going where the wind blows is the range. And look, this one, I think that's upside down. This one has got those gorgeous sort of reeds, are they? I think reeds rather than flowers on a white background. I'm just thinking some really nice crisp shirts would look good. I mean, as you can see, I don't know if you can, they're a little bit sheer. So I will probably line these. But I picked up two metres of that one. And then very similar and I'm guessing it's in the same range oh no this is simply spring this one and I picked up two meters of this one which has the flowers and leaves and again uh, just another nice crisp shirt and I'm hoping because they're both white backgrounds that they will go nicely with the green trousers that I'm planning to make as well so I am kind of thinking through my fabrics when I buy them. Not always. <laughs> so the next bunch is all ribbing and it's from two different shops. So the first ones are from, oh, I've forgotten, I'm so sorry. I'll pop it on the screen. I wanna say Mimi and me or Lily and Mimi. <laughs> anyway. If you saw on Instagram, I recently changed the neckline on a Frankie top I'd made where I'd used French terry that matched the sleeves to do the neckline. And I found after I wore it a few times that actually didn't have enough stretch. So it was a little bit too tight and therefore I was just not wearing it. So I took off that neckband and changed it for some ribbing, which I much prefer. And hopefully I'll pop in a photo here. But what that got me thinking was that I need more ribbing because at the time I would have liked white ribbing to go with the white t-shirt front, but I didn't have any. So I put gray, which looks perfectly fine. I bought this lovely little selection from the shop, which I hopefully have popped on the screen for you. So obviously I've got this green color ribbing and then this bright blue, a lovely lemon and pale blue. I'm thinking they'll go really nice with um, t-shirts and um, sweatshirts where I need pale colour ribbing and I also got a bundle and again this one I'm so sorry cannot remember who I got it from I'm thinking it might have been Flamingo Fabrics but I'm not sure I will look it up and pop it on the screen but anyway I got a bigger bundle so I'll just show you that so I think these are all meter cuts um, so as you can see, I've got the white that I wanted, um, but I also got this neutral sort of beigey colour and then this lovely olivey green, got another sort of minty green, I got a blue and a more royal blue and I got a grey a darker grey, <laughs> an orangey sort of rust colour and some red. So <laughs> I should not go short of ribbing for quite some time. 
Hey guys, I hope you're sticking with me because we are nearly done with the fabrics. I like to point out, I've had these for quite a while, these fabrics. I didn't all buy them recently. So I went on Rainbow Fabrics recently when they had their Autumn Winter 21 drop and I got this brushed cotton twill in this gorgeous mustard colour and I've got a feeling I saw Liz from the Baker That Sews had some of this as well. I absolutely love this. Again, I think it's perfect for autumn winter wardrobe. Not sure what I'm making with it, but I picked up just shy of three meters, I think, of that. And I got the um, two matching thread option that they do with it, but I think it's lovely. They've popped in, I might put a photo in, all these little buttons as well with the thread. So, um, yeah, that's really good. If you haven't shopped from them before, I've used them a few times and highly recommend. Okay, so now these are actually not for myself. I know, shock horror. My 14-year-old son has recently started to like choosing his own clothes. But it has to be a specific look. So, he likes to wear jogging bottoms with a t-shirt, with a sweatshirt or hoodie, all in the same colour not shades of colours or colours that go together but all in the same colour and if I can find a picture of what I'm talking about I'll pop it in here he did say I could put his picture on for you and the colour he wanted most recently was purple could not find purple joggers hoodie and t-shirt in the shops in Plymouth so of course, he has a mum who sews, so he requested that I find some. Now, I put a little help me out on Instagram, and the lovely Tamlin, who you all know as Sewn on the Time, she now works for First for Fabrics, and I know that she's been a big... Sorry about that. That was... <laughs> More. <laughs> More fabric just arrived. I might open that at the end. Um, excuse Teddy, he always barks when the postman comes. As I was saying, Tamlin, who's been a great advocate for First for Fabrics for a long time, now luckily works for them. And when I put a little help me please search out on Instagram about the purple that my son wanted, I put a little photo of the colour and said, does anyone know where I can get some sort of sweatshirting or French terry in this colour? And Tamlin to the rescue. First for Fabrics had, and it is this gorgeous fleecy lined sweatshirt. I'm hoping you can see that is really soft and my son's going to love that. In the perfect purple, I would call it almost Cadbury purple, if, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so it was perfect. I ordered enough for the joggers, showed my son when it arrived and he said, yep, that's the one. And then he said to me, obviously, are you doing the hoodie as well? Which, of course, I didn't think through. So ordered me a second one. So I have enough of this gorgeous purple to make him a pair of joggers and a hoodie. And then I have ordered some purple cotton lycra from another store, which I'm hoping when it comes will be the right colour to go with these. So lastly, this section here, I'm gonna mark on the screen somewhere as an ad, um, as I am an affiliate for this lovely company, which is so anonymous. And I have a little code, which I will pop on the screen as well for you in a second. That means you can go to their website and anything you pop in your basket, if you use my code, you will get 10% off. I will post a link for their website in my description below. As I said, it will be an affiliate link. And all that this means is that you will be directed to the website and anything that you may buy while you're there will earn me a small commission. It won't change the prices for you, but it would mean a great deal to me. And as I say, you can get 10% off if you use my code, which hopefully I'll pop on the screen and I might leave if I get a chance on the screen. So now I've got that out of the way, let me show you what I got from Sew Anonymous. Okay, so the fabrics are fabrics that I have personally bought. So these are not things that were given to me, but I love Sew Anonymous anyway. So I bought this, 
which I did share on Instagram at the time. And this is just the coolest. It is this space whale fabric by Little Johnny. And it is in a, I think like a cotton, I'll double check. I got this in the fat quarters for a box with So Haley Jane a few months back. So if you get the classic box, you may recognise this. At the time, I wanted to make the Tilly and the Buttons Jamie pyjama bottoms, but in shorts. So when Haley had her outlet shop up, I bought uh, three more fat quarters. So I had a metre and the plan was I would make the shorts. But then the lovely Amy at So Anonymous had a metre and something, I think 1.7 metre remnant that she was selling. And I thought, well, why don't I just make a whole pyjama set if I buy that? So I was really chuffed to get this really fun fabric there from So Anonymous. I got this viscose in this really lovely animal print. And it's a sort of off-white background and then like a mushroomy taupe colour. I think I got this when she had a sale on. So I've got about a metre and a half of that. And again, I'm thinking it'd be nice for a blouse. So um, that, I do like a little bit of animal print, I have to say. And then the last fabric I got, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with this. I just couldn't resist. Look at these cats. Aren't they fabulous? I absolutely love that. I think I may have got two metres. Or, or it's quite a lot, actually. I now don't know how much I got. But I'm thinking, i hoping I might even get a dress out of that. I just think that'd be really fab. But I don't know yet. But I just couldn't resist those cats on there. So this part again is a little um, ad because these items were given to me and they were given to me to try and test and to um, share with you all because I am a, an official tester for So Anonymous. So this is my first time testing. So I'm very excited. And the labels that I'm going to be testing, I just love. And I've just realised, and I'll say it in a minute. I don't know if you can see in this packet, but it said... This took forever, and I'll probably pop in a photo if, that, photo if that doesn't show. I think those are awesome. They are quilting labels, which obviously quilts do take a very long time, but I'm not a quilter. So my original plan was to put it in a bag, but I may put it in another project. Either way, I will be updating you with how I get on with these fabulous labels. And as I said, if you are interested in any of the products um, that So Anonymous sell, do make sure that you pop in that code um, for your 10% off. Amy very kindly asked if I would like any other labels while she was sending them. So she sent me these two, which I love. These are Halloween-y, but I personally think you can use them anytime labels. You have Trick or Treat with the pumpkin, which I'm hoping will show. And you have Boo. <laughs> with the little ghost so again I was very kindly gifted these so thank you ever so much Amy um, but I do love a good label as you know now I have plans that hopefully I will get done next week because Halloween is right around the corner and I'll show you what I'm planning with this so I bought this amazing French terry from Flamingo Fabrics and obviously not everybody's cup of tea, I, I understand that. But for me, for Halloween, I love this. Fabulous. It's got the orange colour for the pumpkins, but it's got these skulls and the animal print. And it's on a dark background and it's a French terry. So I am thinking of doing a either a Billy sweatshirt from Tilly and the Buttons or the Stella hoodie. By Tilly and the Buttons and the plan I'm thinking of popping one of these labels on the um, I don't know why I'm holding it down there you can't see down there I'm thinking in the side seam so that from the side you'd actually see the label on that and then popping the boo label in the back of the neck band so I'm hoping to get that sewn up and show you very soon. But I mean, how fab is that going to be? 
So yeah, that was the majority of my fabrics. Now I'm gonna open these parcels and see if I can share them with you before I go. Okay, so I don't know if my camera angle has changed. I apologize, my phone battery died and I had to plug it in and I couldn't find one and I've wobbled the camera and oh my God, I'm anyway, I'm back. Anyway, exciting. I have got these two parcels which you saw in the video arrived while I was filming this. This one is from Stitch and Ink and I'm gonna be showing you something else of theirs after this. I literally just ordered this not long ago. I think I shared on Instagram and I ordered this fabulous brushed cotton tartan. And for those of you who again get so Hayley Jane classic, you will remember last Christmas that I'm pretty sure this was the one in it and I made pajamas for my son, but I am now buying these from Stitch and Ink so that I can make pajamas for myself. So that's exciting that that arrived today. And the other parcel was from, <laughs> uh, I still can't say it, Fleur, Fleur A, well it means flower and bear <laughs> in French and I'll, I'll pop their name here. Very excited, again, love this. All of their packaging is totally recyclable. Again, I literally ordered this not very long ago at all. Excuse me. Oh my God, I ordered this like yesterday, day before yesterday. As I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it. This most gorgeous rayon that's been popping up. Oh my God, I love it. It is, go it is gorgeous. Where is the wood? There we go. <gasps> Look at this. How fantastic is that? Yeah, this is um, Jungle Royals, Cloud Nine, 100% rayon. And just look at the animals on that one there. And again, because it's got a lot of blue in it, I absolutely love it. I literally just ordered it the other day and shared it on my story. So, oh, thank you ever so much. I'm very excited with that. And then I ordered some lining fabric for, well, actually for the rooted tops that I showed, the rooted fabric I showed you earlier. So, how exciting. Right, I will get on because I, I'm aware that this video is gonna like be a day long at this rate. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to show you today, I have some patterns I wanted to show you, but I think I will do that in another haul. Otherwise, you're just going to lose complete interest. And I do apologise. I promise this is the last one. This came for me in the post the other day. Very excited. Quite a few people will know what this is. Not necessarily bought from Stitch and Ink because a lot of people were selling them by pre-order. Sorry about the rustling. Oh, yes, as we know from previous, I am a big label lover. This is the Advent Calendar from Kylie and the Machine, which contains 66 labels and also two iron-on packages. So I'm just going to open it off screen because I think it's going to be even noisier than the last bit. So, yes, look at that. I wasn't going to buy this originally when I saw it come up, but um, with the pre-order discount Stitch and Ink were doing, I thought, why not? Um, I had a body shop advent calendar last year and that I'm using this year to put sweets and things in for the children. So this is going to be my advent calendar. Look at that. How fabulous is that? So I can't wait for December now. And that, guys... That wraps up my haul, yay. So now all I need to do is actually get some sewing done. <laughs> no, I will be getting some sewing done. As you know, I've been a bit quiet recently, but now that I've got all this gorgeous fabric, which is in piles around me on the floor now, I can make some lovely projects and hopefully get back to my Friday sews where I can keep you up to date with everything I'm doing. So I'm going to sign off and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stuck with me. Do please check out any of the websites that you thought looked interesting. I will put all the links in the description below for you and I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.